Um, it's a parasitical machine that lives off human energy, and it asks a bit of, uh, or talks a little bit about the question um, that uh, we introduced initially about how it, it, such a future look like when machines actually sort of create a uh, universe by themselves. This machine lives by stealing your own energy. If you put your arm in there, maybe we can demonstrate in a second. Uh, if you put your arm in there, it's going to trap you, it's going to use electrical muscle stimulation to move your arm, and that energy is captured because you're actually cranking the crank up and down, and the machine lives forever by sort of uh, living off that energy. And we can demonstrate. Um, what I find kind of interesting about that is that it reverses the role that we all have right now um, with our devices, right? With all the machines around us, even some of the pieces here, we're sort of users of those machines. Like, we can go to that robot there, and we're the user of that robot, and we dance in front of it. But here it's really about shifting from user to used. And so that machine is perhaps the user that is at play. And so how would such a future, a future look like? But most of it, because it's an interactive piece, how would it feel like to be used and not the user? Can you talk a little bit about uh, how, what gets released from that? Yeah, maybe we can demonstrate it, that's all right. Yep. Yep. Shall we go there? Yes, please. Yeah. That's <laughs> So, all right. Um, so there's only one opening here on one of each side, and the moment I place my arms, I feel like light demo is going to be failed. But let's hope that it does. Um, there's these two cups that come down, and they have electrodes on them. And now I'm feeling muscle stimulation. It moves my arm upwards, kind of in a jerk motion. I'm going to wait for it again. And that's feeding the machine with kinetic energy because there's a dynamo um, inside each of the cups. And you can already see that I'm already powering those LEDs, but I'm also powering the batteries. So what I'm going to do now is to take over Pedro's job to power the machine. I'm coming from the other side of the machine, putting my hand. And in this, at this moment, Pedro is getting released. And that's how the machine perpetually lives on until the until the last human is cranking here. <laughs> so you have to so you have to sort of have to convince someone else to, to yeah. go in. There's a very interesting social element in the the opening yesterday. It was quite interesting to see the different strategies and the different things that people use to kind of convince each other. Um, either ranging from it's very interesting, try it out, it feels really good, to obviously when they were spotted being painfully electrocuted, and um, they just say like, oh, I think you can take even more than me, try that thing. Um, there was a lot of concern about the, the machine, which I, this is one of the things that I find interesting about this. It's obviously a cold looking object, it is very artificial looking, there's no organic matter in it, but still people were asking um, some of the uh, mediators what's going to happen at night because the machine will not have anybody to power it. And the mediators are also confused and we were also like, well, we just shut it off. But, um, but this care, this concern over this entity is, is kind of very interesting from a, from a human side. It's very anthropocentric kind of thinking. Um, but the machine is trying to do what we do every day, you know, just get energy and live fun. <laughs> Can you talk a 